Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. Today we're gonna make spicy guacamole with fresh hot peppers. So we ran a poll recently and you guys said that you wanted us to do more recipes with our hot peppers, which is awesome because we love getting creative in the kitchen and trying new things. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner, but guacamole is good any time of the year. I'm gonna use jalapeno peppers today, but if you like it a little spicier, I definitely recommend using serrano peppers. You won't be disappointed. Serrano peppers make an excellent addition to guacamole. If you like it even hotter, add a couple fresh habanero peppers. Guacamole is one of those things that everybody makes a little bit differently. We like it chunky and we do add tomato and cumin to our guacamole. This makes a great base recipe. You can always add some additional ingredients or make it spicier or saltier to your tastes. So the most important part about making good guacamole is making sure you have good ripe avocados. Do not use avocados that are not ripe and expect the guacamole to come out good. Grab them a couple days ahead of time before you plan on making the guacamole, that way they'll be perfectly ripe when you're ready to use them. The avocado should be dark, not bright green, and the skin should yield a little bit to gentle pressure, but not be too mushy. If you're in a rush, sometimes you can check the reduced produce section at the grocery store. They have avocados that are pretty much on their last day and ready to be eaten right away, so it's worth checking out. So we're gonna make a small batch that's good for two to three people, but you can very easily double or triple this recipe for a larger batch. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using two avocados, but we'll be slicing those after. So we'll get all the other ingredients ready first. We like to do it in this order to help mold all of the flavors together, and the lime juice actually helps take the bite out of the onion when it's been soaking for a little while. We're gonna start with one half of an onion chopped. I prefer to use white or yellow onions because the flavor is a little bit more mild. You certainly could use a red onion as well. Half of a medium to large tomato. We like to use fresh vine tomatoes, but you certainly could use a Roma tomato because they're less watery. Next, you're gonna need two small jalapenos or one large jalapeno. Whether you prefer to leave the seeds in is completely up to you. You'll also need one to two cloves of garlic finely chopped. If you're a big fan of garlic like we are, add two cloves. Next, you need the juice from one large lime and that should equal about an ounce of liquid. Stir it around a bit. Next, you'll need half a teaspoon of cumin, which we found to be the perfect amount for this recipe. It wasn't too overpowering at all. You'll also need a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And then finally, a little bit of cilantro finely chopped. Keep in mind that not everybody likes cilantro, so if you're making this guacamole for somebody who doesn't care for it, just leave it out of the recipe. So you wanna mix that pretty thoroughly and just set it aside for a few minutes while you prepare the avocados. So I'm gonna use two avocados for this recipe. So we're gonna slice the avocado lengthwise. Give it a twist. And then you're gonna scoop the avocado into a separate bowl. You wanna make sure all the avocado gets in there. So now you have your avocado in a separate bowl and you're just gonna pre-mash it a little bit, but not completely. And then you're gonna add the avocado to the rest of your ingredients. Give it a stir. And then finish mashing until it's at your desired consistency. So I like to use a potato masher to mash the guacamole. It does a really good job at keeping everything pretty consistent. So the best guacamole has every ingredient in every bite with a pretty uniform flavor. We also like our guacamole pretty chunky. Now you can pour your guacamole into whatever serving bowl you're using. So that's all there is to it. Don't overthink the portions of tomato and onion. Guacamole is pretty difficult to mess up. If you wanna mix it up a little bit, you can always add other ingredients as well. You can add bacon, blue cheese, um, a splash of orange juice adds a little bit of tang. You can add a splash of tequila, that's pretty good. Or a little bit of your favorite hot sauce with a flavor profile that you like. So let's give it a try. It's a big one. That is absolutely perfect. It's crunchy, it's chunky, it tastes very fresh because of all the fresh ingredients we used, and it has a little bit of kick to it because of the cayenne and jalapeno pepper. We find that the quarter teaspoon of sea salt is the perfect amount if you're using salted chips. If you find you want your guacamole a little bit saltier, you can always add a little extra. So this bowl isn't going to last long. However, if you do wanna preserve it for a couple of days, the best way to do that is to mash the guacamole down 
and you're gonna pour about a half an inch of water on top of the surface and then seal it into an airtight container. This prevents it from oxidizing and it should last about two to three days. When you're ready to serve the guacamole again, just dump the water right out and mix it. It'll taste just as fresh as it did when you first made it. If you like hot peppers, gardening, and spicy food, be sure to follow us on Instagram at peppergeek. There we post all of our harvests, garden tips, and recipes using hot spicy peppers. So thanks so much for watching. We plan to have a lot more recipes coming up in the future using our fresh hot peppers from our harvest, and we can't wait to share them with you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. It looks like a lot of onion, but it's not. The camera adds 10 onions. <laughs>